going to do cerebellar examinations again introduce yourself like previous video uh, what we are checking in cerebellar examination let's discuss first you have to check rapid alternative movements okay you have to check the coordinations and third one is your special manual right so let's start with first you know is rapid alternative movements right mm -hmm. so can you put your arm can you do this for me yeah. as fast as you can good now with this finger as fast as you can, now both put this down, as fast as you can, now both together. Good. Now what we are looking here is symmetry of, you know, all these rapid alternative movements. Sometimes you see one side is, you know, more slower than other, that means you have that side cerebellar problems. Okay. So that is the rapid alternative movement. We don't check rapid alternative movement in the extremity. Next thing is the coordination. So for coordinations, uh, can you touch your index finger to your nose and then my finger? Here, keep doing it. How many times you do? At least five to six times, okay? And make sure the patient's elbow is completely extending. Sometimes you see endpoint dysmetria. What is endpoint dysmetria? Can you do it? Person who is alcoholic, they get zigzag tremor, you know, when they extend, okay? Second thing, coordinations uh, now with uh, this finger. Make sure you check from the both side. You drink alcohol. I'm just saying, oh, um, no. See the alcohol? Are you nervous? Oh, <laughs> no, no. Yeah, a little bit. And this one. Now, oh, here, good. can you touch your heel to your shin? Here, left heel, touch, and can you slide down all the way? Keep doing it two, three times. Now, on the other side, we are checking coordination in the lower extremities, okay? Now, third one is a special manual. Can you spread your palm completely? Close your eyes. First, I'm looking for cerebellar signs, which we discussed. Cerebellar spooning, abducted EGT minimi, right? And third one will be if there is a swing at this side. But at the same time, our cerebellar muscle is in a good program for the flexion and extension muscle, right? Agonist and antagonist muscles. So we are going to check rebound phenomena, which is a special maneuver, okay? So we call Holmes rebound phenomena. You have patient close your eyes, okay? And you inform them that I'm going to smack on your hands, okay? Do not surprise them. Now what we are checking now, again, two, two, three times until, ready? All right, now normally you see whenever, you know, uh, antagonist muscle right, gives a good response, but if it suddenly goes fly up, okay, that is a positive rebound phenomena. I mean, the other muscles are not coping with it. If you are doing here, your flexions, right? So extensive muscles are generally throwing it off or the same tendons, extensor is not giving a posture, right? So this was cerebellar, okay, where then you check rapid alternative movement again, and then you movement, you check for coordination and special maneuver. The last maneuver we did by smacking called Holmes rebound phenomena. 